Good morning. Magandang umaga po. Uh, a viewer of mine uh, sent me a link uh, and I read it and I found it to be rather interesting and I thought it would be of interest to you as well and it has something to do about the aging process of mankind. So I'm going to talk to you about it. I'm going to read it to you uh, so that you can take a look at it because I, I did enjoy reading it. But uh, stay with me and that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, this article I think is like a synopsis of what's going to come out in a book. Uh, that the uh, writer wrote and I found it rather interesting and very applicable uh, in my case and probably would be applicable to most of you as well. Uh, during my younger years I was not really thinking about aging. I was always thinking about today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. Occasionally I look at the past and what happened in the past but I seldom do that. Uh, most of what I did is planning for tomorrow. I wanted to succeed. I worked very hard. Uh, I faced a lot of challenges and uh, each time is an event in someone's life. Uh, but each event sometimes is forgotten because you move forward through your career process. So that's what I did. I never thought about retiring. Uh, if there's anything I'll be sorry about, I did not plan for retirement. But luckily, because I was so assertive in moving ahead, moving forward, getting promotion, etc., etc., I was able to save some money. But I did not consciously say, I'm going to set aside so much for retirement. When, uh, when the companies came out with uh, retirement plans or IRA or 401k, it was financially sound, so I did go ahead and enroll in those plans and programs. So I accumulated some money, obviously, but not consciously on my part. What did I do? Well, uh, a lot of my, uh, well, not a lot, but some of my co-workers bought second homes. Uh, they bought a boat, which I also wanted. I wanted to have a boat. I wanted to have a second home. but. I said, well, if I do that, I'm going to be tied down to a specific location. But what I wanted to do is to travel. So although I wanted to have a second home, I wanted to do boating, uh, and don't think that that is a wealthy lifestyle in the United States. It's fairly common for people to have second homes and uh, for people to own a boat. Okay, But I decided not to do that because I would rather spend my money traveling around and learning more about different cultures, seeing the world. And I have traveled a lot. I have gone to a lot of places. Now, today as I sit down and I saw this article and I was reading through it, I said, hmm, uh, bits and pieces of this came to me as I was growing. For example, uh, I went to school, uh, I took the CPA exam and then I desperately applied for uh, immigration in Japan, for of all places, Japan, uh, Australia, Canada, and in US I avoided not to apply because once you apply you cannot even come to the US until you get your green card. So I applied for uh, school in uh, universities. and. Uh, in the same day, exactly the same day, I received two letters in the mail. One is an acceptance from University of Massachusetts for my master's degree. And another one was uh, immigration to Canada. Well, I opted to go for immigration to Canada because I was not able to get a scholarship. So money is going to be a problem in the U.S. So I went to Canada. After that, I was able to come back to the U.S. Now. From that point on, I was thinking about career, 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 and I was lucky enough to be successful in what I was pursuing. Uh, now, I did not think about retirement. I never thought about death until maybe a few years ago. I would say uh, three, four, maybe 
five, six years ago is when I started thinking about that. So I was about 63, 64. That is when I started collecting my social security. And sa I said, oh gee, this money is not going to be enough. <laughs> but luckily I have some savings. So anyway, this article brought to light all these events in someone's life. So I'm going to read it to you in hope that you will benefit from it. Okay? So, here goes. Mao Dan, literary prize winner, Zhuang Da, Zin's latest novel to be published, The Sky Gets Dark Slowly, is a sensitive exploration of old age and the complex hidden emotional world of the elderly in a rapidly aging population. In it, he writes, Many elderly speak as though they know everything, but of old age they are in fact as ignorant as children. Many elderly are in fact completely unprepared for what they are to face when it comes to getting old and the road that lays ahead of them. In the meantime, between a person turning 60 years old as they begin to age, right until the lights go out and the sky gets dark, there are some situations to keep in mind so that you will be prepared for what is to come and you will not panic. Number one, the people by your side will only continue to grow smaller in number. People in your parents' and grandparents' generation have largely all left, whilst many your peers will increasingly find it harder to look after themselves, and the younger generations will all be busy with their own lives. Even your wife or husband may depart earlier than you, or than you would expect, and what might then come are days of emptiness you will have to learn how to live alone and to enjoy and embrace solitude. Number two, society will care less and less for you, no matter how glorious your previous career was on how famous you were, aging will always transform you into a regular old man and old lady. The, spot, the spotlight no longer shines on you and you have to learn to contend with standing quietly in one corner to admire and appreciate the hub hub and views that come after you and you must overcome the urge to be envious or grumble. Number three, the road ahead will be rocky and full of precarity. Fractures, cardiovascular blockages, brain atrophy, cancer, these are all possible guests that could pay you a visit anytime and you would not be able to turn them away. You will have to live with these illness and ailments, to view them as friends, even. Do not fantasize about stable, quiet days without any trouble in your body. Maintaining a positive mentality and get appropriate adequate exercise is your duty, and you must encourage yourself to keep it consistently. Prepare for bed-bound life, a return to the infant state, our mothers brought us into this world on a bed, and after a journey of twists and turns and a life of struggle, we return to our starting point, the bed, and to the state of having to be looked after by others. The only difference being, where we had once had our mother to care for us, when we prepared to leave, we may not have our kin to look after us. Even if we have, even if we have a kin, their care may never come close to that of your mothers. You will more likely than not be cared for by nursing staff who bear zero relation to you. Wearing smiles on their faces, all whilst carrying weariness and boredom in their hearts. Lay still and don't be difficult. Remember to be grateful. Number five, there will be many swindlers and scammers along the way. Many of them know that the elderly have lots of savings and will endlessly be thinking of ways to cheat them of their money. Through scam phone calls, text messages, mail, food and product samples, get rich quick schemes, product for longevity or enlightenment, 
basically all they want is to get all your money. Beware and be careful, hold your money close to you, a fool and his money are soon parted, so spend your pennies wisely. Now before the sky gets dark, the last stretches of life's journey will gradually get dimmer and dimmer. Naturally, it will be harder to see the path ahead that you are treading towards, and it will be harder to keep going forward. As such, upon turning 60, it would do us all well to see life for what it is, to cherish what we have, to enjoy life whilst we can, and to not take on society's troubles or your children's and grandchildren's affairs for yourself. Stay humble. Don't act superior or on account of your own age and talk down to others. This will hurt yourself. As much, as much as it will help other, hurt others. As we get older, all the better should we be able to understand what respect is and what it counts for. In these later days of our lives, you must understand what it means to let go of your attachments, to mentally prepare yourself. The way of nature is the way of life. Go with its flow and live with equanimity. Hardly the day's started and it's already 6 o'clock in the evening. Barely arrive on Monday and it's already Friday. And the month is almost over and the year is almost up and already 50, 60 or 70 years of our lives have passed. And we realize that we lost our parents, friends, and we realize that it's too late to go back. So. Let's try to take full advantage of the time we have left. Let's not stop looking for activities that we like. Let's put color in our grayness. Let's smile at the little things in life that put balm in our hearts. And yet we must continue to enjoy serenely the time that remains. Let's try to eliminate the after. I do it after. I will say after. I will think about it after. We leave everything for later as if after was ours. Because what we do not understand is that after the coffee cools, after priorities change, after the charm is broken, after health passes, after the children grown up, grow up, after the parents get older, after the promises are forgotten, after the day becomes the night, after life ends, and all that afters, we find it's often too late. So, let's leave nothing for later. Because in always waiting for later, we can lose the best moments, the best experiences, the best friends, the best family. The day is today, the moment is now. We are no longer at the age where we can afford to postpone until tomorrow what needs to be done right away. So let's see if you have time to read this message and then share it. Or maybe you leave it for later. And you will not share it ever. Even share with those who are not yet seniors. Our Lord bless us all. There you have it. As you can see, certain milestones in people's lives happen. And you're not aware of it until maybe towards the end. Like in my case, I'm now at retirement and pretty soon, hopefully later than, short, than, than sooner, uh, death uh, will be taken away from this world. And uh, we need to be aware of that and that is the reason I'm sharing this. Uh, certain events happen. Well, first of all, uh, started to have a kid, then you celebrate birthdays then they start going to school, then you, you celebrate graduation, and then they start working on their own, then you continue to work, and then you retire. Oh, I forgot about the marriage, then there's a wedding, and then, uh, and then life goes on, and uh, until the time you retire, and then you start thinking about it, I said, whoa. And that's when you sit back and say, what happened to me in those past years? So as the year was going by, I was never thinking of anything in the past. I'm always thinking of forward. Now I'm thinking in the past. And that's the reason why I appreciated this because it sort of put everything together for me. 
and it is so thorough so please bear this in mind that there is always an end in life and you have to plan for it or you don't have to plan for it but you have to be conscious of the events that are happening and when where you will ultimately be uh, so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you benefit from it as well as I did and by the way thank you so much for the uh, viewer who shared this uh, uh, writing to me uh, it's really very very interesting and uh, uh, I hope you like it and please do share for the benefit of others and do subscribe to my channel I rely on it okay thank you so much and make it a great day